You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Greetings, greetings, my visionary dreamers. How's everybody doing on Let's Talk Sunday? For those who are just tuning in for the first time, this is Adion, your lifeguard, your dream pusher, saving you from the world, saving you from yourself, saving you from some real bullshit. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living Podcast Show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. And uh, yeah, if you're just tuning in for the first time, this show is really for you. If you're a visionary dreamer out there, you're an entrepreneur, business owner, or you aspire to be that, you have talent, gifts, and you really want to do something with it. This is the show for you to get your mind right, to get your spirit right, because I get all up in your business. I get all up in your face with it, and I just keep it real, you know? A lot of us want to um, become these icons or maybe famous, or sometimes we just want to do the things that we're prepared to do. But in order to do that... We need to first get ourselves in order. We need to first get our mind right, our physical, our spirit right. And that's how we have longevity. And that's how we can face many challenges that come along our path while we're pursuing our dreams, our goals, and our vision. So that's why the topic of today is your life can save others. And um, I was really pushing time because I'm sitting outside. (laughs) I wanted some pieces so bad. And I realized that it's the day of the Super Bowl. And so, uh, yeah, the pizza place is very crowded. So I was like, I'm not even going to chance it. (laughs) Let me just go in the parking lot and go ahead and sit and wait um, and do the show. But, yeah, and so um, your life can save others. I'm just going to get right to it. And this is going to be a short show because I don't know him. A lot of people might be out there watching the Super Bowl game, um, bowl game. Um, but, you know, a lot of times we can live a life and we can have hiccups along the way and do things um, that we probably look back on and say, why did I do that? Why, you know, did I get myself in that position or why did I get myself in this position? In some cases, you might still be in a position that you would never think you would find yourself in by a decision or a choice that you made or by hanging around the wrong people or by uh, coming outside of your normal, of your real character, trying to, I mean, working at impressing others or just maybe you couldn't say no to somebody and you should have. And now you are in a certain uh, situation or you might have been in a certain, certain situation because of that. So meaning, you know, um, rather be, uh, maybe you cheated or maybe you cheated on your spouse or maybe and you just pretty much kind of lost everything. Maybe you spent money, spent your money in a crazy way and you lost everything. You got to start all over. Maybe you got caught up on some type of drugs or drinking or whatever that took you totally off your square and in this case, because sometimes I Uber, um, maybe you caught a DUI and it just pretty much turned your life upside down, um, losing your job, losing everything because, you know, because of that drink <laughs> that you couldn't say no to, that last drink. There are so many different ways that in life we can find ourselves in a position that we thought we would never being, you know, because of one spontaneous decision or one decision that we 
felt in our gut that we shouldn't have done, but we did it anyway, you know? Maybe you, you know, was in a position where you felt like you had to sell your body or you you sold drugs or you did something that placed you in jail. There are so many different things that life brings in our past, so many temptations that we have to face from day to day. And now with social media and with the whole media thing, oh my gosh, it is so much pressure. I feel so bad for a lot of our youth today because it's like everything is coming at at them, you know, and even with adults, a lot of adults, temptation of maybe coming across somebody that, you know, used to date and you already in a, a marriage or a committed relationship. And then you just decide that, okay, I'm just going to flirt a little bit. And then it turns into something else. And it just ruins everything that you have invested in your current situation, your current um, relationship. I mean, we're faced with so much from day to day, guys. And I'm here to tell you, temptation can just overpower the people that really have the greatest hearts. You can just find themselves just outside of their whole character from one decision that turned into another decision that turned into another choice. And and there you are in a deep hole that you feel like, I'm stuck. I can't get out. Um, why am I here? Why did I do this? And we can beat ourselves up and just, you know, fall. Sometimes some people fall into depression and all kinds of things um, because of choices that we feel like we've made that um, has totally taken off, taken us off course. But on the flip side of all of that, of all of that, your experience can save someone else's life because I always talk about how our journey is is just really not for us. It's for others, you know, but it's what you choose to do with that experience is what you choose to do with that journey. Do you choose to hide it? Do you choose to tuck it away? Do you choose to forget it and not allow someone else to benefit off of I'm not going to say the mistakes, but off of your experience, your life experience that you felt did not go the way you planned it to go, you know? Do you take that experience, that information, and gain strength from it and become a better person and allow it to grow you up? In the areas that you were weak in so that when you're faced with those same temptations, it won't get you anymore. You know, life is about experience. That is what life is about. Life is a big school for us from day to day. And we pick and choose how we want to live it from day to day. And so I say our lives can save um, others because <clears throat> I was watching this uh, YouTube TED talk the other day and it was very, very empowering. And it was this guy, his name was Curtis Wall Street Carroll, I want to say. Um, Google him, I'm sure he will come up, but you really need to watch that video. Um, even if you've never been to prison or, or, or things like this, this guy, you know, told his story as to how, you know, his environment that he grew up with, you know, he basically went off of that and, um, just follow his environment and the people that he grew up around and follow the blueprint and believe that, you know, you had to do crime in order to make money. And there are so many ways that, as we're growing up, our environment can shape us and mold us um, if we allow it. And if we don't know any better, we're ignorant to the fact that there is something more for us outside of the environment that we grow up in. You get what I'm saying? So this guy, Curtis, you know, he just painted the whole picture of his story growing up from a youth and how, you know, as a young 
the first crime he committed is he robbed the arcade machine and he wound up getting caught because he tried to take all the quarters and it weighed them down as he was climbing over this gate and he got caught and his uncle when they went to go get him from juvenile juvie his uncle asked him how did he get caught and he said that you know the, the quarters weighed him down and he was like he wasn't supposed to take all of them and there it went his uncle started using him to rob other um arcades instead of letting that be a teachable moment and you know encouraging him to let him know that no there's more out of life and that's not the way you go about getting money instead the uncle the adult that this young man looked up to decided to cash in on his own nephew and there went the whole string of crime until it led to something big and landed him in prison at the age of 17 if I want to tell the story right and so within prison he couldn't read before he went to prison he couldn't read he couldn't really write um, you know, the schooling that he, he received wasn't good enough for him to learn or he just did not, you know, really take it serious, you know, and um, in jail to make this story short. And this is why I'm telling you how your life can save others in jail to speed up the story. He uh, wound up grabbing the paper one day and grabbed the wrong section, which wasn't the wrong section. That was the valley for him to grab, but it was the business section and an old head in the jail explained to him um, that the, that was the business section and, and it was talking about stocks and buying stocks and trading stocks and stuff. And so he went on to explain to Curtis what that was. And he said that that's where the white people keep their money. So that was a picture that the old head had painted in his head that this is only something basically that white people do when no, that's not true. All nationalities, all ethnic backgrounds get into stocks, but this is what he knew. You get what I'm saying? Nevertheless, he shared that story with the youth. And a couple of years later, from that story, Curtis decided to learn how to read and write for the first time. And I think he was about 20 or something like that. He learned how he taught himself how to read and write and he was going crazy with it. And then from there, he taught himself. He, le he learned about stocks while he was in prison. And from that... He realized that, you know, this is why the cycle is going on with everyone that comes to prison. They go out of prison and now a lot of them are uneducated. And so what do they do? And they, they send them home with basically $200 and say, get on your way. No plan on nothing. You know, a lot of prisons don't have different um, outlets for um, inmates to learn. You know, you got to take it on your on your own. But he decided to, you know, put together a program to start teaching about finances and start teaching um, while they were in prison how to uh, save up the, the, the couple dollars, which was cents an hour um, and 800 for the year, how to save that money, how to invest that money. Um, and all of this came from starting from a life of crime and landing him in prison and because of his disability i'm gonna say that to read and write but his hunger to want a better life he decided to take on a task of his own to better himself and now decided to share his knowledge and his wisdom to so many others to help the cycle to be broken that is powerful, guys. That is so powerful. And this is what I'm saying about your life can save others. When you decide that you should not be ashamed of what it is that you have experienced in life. Because I, and I'm going to say, promise you, <laughs> this is a big world. You are not the only one that has experienced what you have experienced that's on a negative basis in your life. 
You are not the only one that's been abused. You are not the only one that had that did something that wound up and did some time in prison. You're not the only one that wound up finding yourself addicted to a drug that changed your whole life. You are not the only one that cheated through temptation and lost your whole marriage or or did something financially that caused you to lose everything. You are not the only one. You are not the only one that found yourself homeless and maybe living on the streets or living in a shelter. You're not the only one. You're not the only one that maybe lost your kids to the system. You're not the only one. There are many people out here that have walked your path. It might not be in the same way, but in some sort of way, they've walked your path. But it is on you to decide to break free from your past, to break free from their hurt and their pain by sharing your story with others. It is a form of therapy. It is definitely freedom. Because when you share your story with others, you you become free. I'm here to tell you because if y'all have been following this podcast, y'all know I've been sharing my story as to how, you know, I went through, I lived in, um, you know, I grew up in, I'm, I'm going to say the hood because <laughs> at the time you'd be fighting and all of this stuff and I'm getting stabbed in the head with a bottle, whatever. It's the hood. Okay. But it was my family was very tight knit and very loving. And I've been blessed with the and fortunate to have a loving family and a, a, a supportive family, uh, grandparents that pretty much gave us a great example as to how we should treat people, you know, but not a lot of people that grew up where I grew up had that. So therefore, you know, many of us, our lives took different forms and different fashions and we went separate ways and stuff. But nevertheless, I will go back to where I grew up with and I will still talk to different people and I still encourage people when I go there. You know, I haven't been in a minute, but when I do go, if it's summertime, I will go and and hang out or whatever and talk to different people and share, you know, the different things that I've experienced from moving away from where I grew up and how they should try it too and give it a chance, you know. I come on here and I share how I lost everything, how I was evicted, how I was homeless, how I lived in a shelter and what I got out of it. I share that with you guys. And so it's freeing to me. And I used to be such a private person, such a person that, you know, I don't want nobody to know what I'm going through. But I feel like that was selfish of me to not share some of these things with people to give them hope to to let them know to let you guys know you visionary dreamers out there know that everything is possible when you set your mind on a different path when you set your mind to be disciplined and to commit to yourself when you start committing to yourself and you stop thinking about the things that went wrong in your life the things that you think you did wrong in your life but really you did those things in order for you to learn how not to do things you get what i'm saying if we didn't if we don't make certain decisions and certain choices in our lives that end us in bad places or awkward positions How are we going to learn how to problem solve? How are we going to learn how to start thinking outside the box? How are we going to grow? We can't grow if we don't have challenges, guys. We can't grow if challenges don't come our way, if obstacles don't come in our our path. It's, It's not going to be possible to grow. We have to, we have to, Start embracing our experience and getting what we could get out of it and sharing with others that we find might be in that same lane and stop them from going down that road. Help somebody else to to take the shortcut in life. 
you know, help your kids share with your kids instead of painting this perfect parent, share with your kids the things and the the things that you done in life that you know you shouldn't have done and share with them the repercussions that you receive from it. Because see, when you start sharing with your kids those things, then they will listen to you more because now you're being transparent and you're not making them feel like they got to live up to this perfect persona, this perfect person. See, that's why I have a great bond with my kids because I keep it all the way real with them. I keep it all the way real about when I used to drink, when I smoked weed, what I got out of it, when I decided to stop, why I decided to stop. Um, and then things that I did that I felt like took me out of my character and decisions that I made that put me in a bad position. I share that stuff with them and I tell them, you know, the repercussions. And I tell them like, look, this is your life to live. But you heard my stories. Now, I'm not saying that it could end up that, you know, maybe you you might override it or whatever. But do you really want to go down that path? Do you really want to try that drug or wh- whatever? You get what I'm saying? So you shouldn't be ashamed of your life and of your choices. You should be proud that you were able to get out of it. Or in some cases, you should be proud of yourself because if you're listening to this podcast, that means that you want to get out of whatever it is that you and you want to have a better life. If you're listening to this podcast, that's what that means. You are working towards becoming a better human being, a better spirit, a better individual, a better parent. You know what I'm saying? You are working towards adding something to the world instead of just taking from the world or from people. If you're listening to this podcast show right now, that means that you are on the path and on the journey to be the best version of yourself. Because these are the things that I talk about, you know? So kudos to you. If you're still in the struggle of Whatever it is of a bad decision that you you found yourself in or, you know, some choices that you made. Kudos to you. You know, keep doing the damn thing the best way you can. And that's all you can ask of yourself. But be sure, be sure to find someone that has endured some of the hurt and the pain that you've endured and open up and share your story. Now, a lot of you might be like, I'm not telling people what I do happen to be here, what I've been through. No, that's embarrassing. But you know what? You you just don't know. I, when I My first interview on this podcast show was very unexpected. And the young lady, um, she, Patrice, I thought that, you know, we was going to talk about, you know, whatever her product she was marketing. But I just told her, I said, you know what? I want you to come on. I want you to keep it real. And talk about you. Talk about some things that you, you know, you 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 went through and you the obstacle that you beat, the challenge that you beat in your life. And lo and behold, she um was molested by her uncle, her step uncle, um I, I think was it to the age of thirteen or something, or at the age of thirteen, and wound up being impregnated by him and everything. And um I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but what happened was this after I had that conversation with her on the podcast show where the whole universe can hear and still can hear. If you look up that podcast show, whether you're listening from YouTube or whether, you know, wherever your what platform you listen to iHeartRadio, or whatever. Um, and you pull up that, that, that interview, she afterwards told me after we finished talking, she was like, Oh my gosh, I have never shared that with in public. I've never shared that with friends and stuff like that. You know, there are, you know, close few family members that know, of course, but she had never shared that in detail and she felt so free. And she said she felt so good. And what happened the next day is I think she might've called me the next day or whatever, or maybe a couple of days later. And she was telling me how she was getting all these inboxes of people thanking her from sharing that story. And that made her feel even better because now she knew that she wasn't the only one that went through that. And this is what I'm saying, guys. You're not the only one. (laughs) You're not. No matter how bad your story is. You got people like Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, 
big people that made a difference in so many of us that were molested. Joyce Myers, a famous pastor, was molested by her own father. And now she speaks to billions of people, helping millions of people fight their pain and get over their pain and and, and start walking in their purpose. These three powerful women. You know, there's so many men out here, Steve Harvey, that share how he was just pretty much living from pillar to post. And he knew when he was a kid that he wanted to be on TV and he had a stuttering problem. And he shared it with his teacher, how his teacher embarrassed him and told him that because nobody he knows will be on TV, that that's something he would never do. And now look at Steve Harvey. And he shares that story. And what does that do? That gives other young men hope that have that you know that are struggling with talking right and all of this stuff that that gives them hope Oprah Winfrey Maya Angelou even though God bless her soul it gives people hope what if they would have stayed stuck in what it is that happened to them what if they would have kept a victim mentality and kept replaying that story over and over and that scene over and over and that feeling over and over in their head all the way up until the age they are now guess what we wouldn't know them we wouldn't know them we wouldn't be inspired by them we wouldn't be encouraged by them and this is what i'm saying to you guys your life can save others. Don't ever, ever, ever feel like you are less than because of the things that you have been going through or the things that you have went through in your life because of people calling you out your name or telling you that you would never be nothing or telling you that you're not capable of doing better than you are now or being in a better place or living in a better place better than you are now. We cannot allow people to give us the blueprint of our life. We cannot allow people to tell us who we are. We cannot do that, guys. We have to learn to take up our own reins and forgive ourselves. Number one, forgive ourselves for Decisions that decisions that we have made that are not within our character or not within who we know we are or things, decisions that we made that stopped us um, for a moment from becoming who we are. Because at the end of the day, your dream is your dream. God, your talents, your gifts are yours. And you are the only one that can get in your way of stopping it from happening. You are the only one that can quit on you. Okay? Many people can quit on you. Many people can give up on you. But you hold the key. You hold the key to your success. And when I say success, I'm not talking materialistic things. I'm not talking money. I'm talking accomplishing the things that you set out to do in life. Rather be small, big, huge, humongous. That is success. Committing to yourself, being disciplined no matter what life brings your way, and doing the damn thing. That is how you reach success. Share your story, guys. Break free of the things that's been tormenting you and uh, the hurt and the pain that you have went through or that you're going through break free guys free yourself and be yourself oh i like that free yourself and be yourself guys that's what i want for y'all in 2019 and um i'm gonna keep this show short because i really want some pizza (laughs) and i'm sitting right outside the place and the crowd has kind of left so yeah but i just hope that y'all got something out of this show today and just to let you guys know um 
I am, I have been consistent on YouTube finally. So if you haven't went on a YouTube channel, Chronicles of Living um, YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. I have some videos up there to give you some more encouragement. And I will be um, starting to teach um, things about business very soon. And I will be interviewing people um, on the YouTube channel where you can physically see us very, um, very soon within the week. Okay. Weather has just been very bad and I couldn't really get out like I want, but yeah, those interviews are coming, um, different people, different walks of life. So definitely stay tuned. And, um, yeah, I just love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting Chronicles of Living for as long as you have. And if you're a newcomer, thank you for listening. And, um, definitely, subscribe to the YouTube channel, to whatever platform that you're listening to the podcast on. Like this podcast, please, and leave any comments. Email me if you have any suggestions on different uh, topics to talk about or you have any questions, you know, definitely you could comment anytime on any um, episode and you could comment on any YouTube video. I do have a contest going on on YouTube for my entrepreneurs, my visionary dreamers. Check out that video called um, uh, Win Big, um, Join 1000 Subscribers. Check that out and leave your comment below because I'm definitely going to give up some branding, free branding package website. I'm going to do your website, all your branding, marketing material. Uh, all you got to do is look at that video and comment and, you know, just listen, look at the video and, and do do what is required. Okay. So until next Sunday, I just love you guys, man. I I just thank y'all for listening and and allowing me to be able to have a platform and um, to just share. I love inspiring and encouraging people and it's very freeing and it's very therapeutic. So dust those dreams and those visions off, guys. You can do it no matter what life brings your way. Fight through it. Commit to yourself. Be disciplined. Turn a new leaf for you. Okay make let your life matter let your life matter let the fact that you are the sperm that made it to the egg matter okay so with that i'm gonna leave you guys this is adion your dream pusher your lifeguard saving you from yourself from the world from some real bullshit and you are listening to chronicles of living podcast show the show for everyday people doing everyday things living everyday life You know it's extraordinary, folk. Doing the damn thing the best way we can. So, until Sunday, I love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adia, your dream pusher. I love you guys.